What's up superstars? On this video, we're gonna be taking you on to a transformational journey where we convert our existing studio space into a more effective recording space. Now, a lot of you guys might not know, but one of the major hurdles that we go through is setting up. It takes us a long time to set up our sound, our lighting, our cameras, all that good stuff. So what we're hoping to do in this video is to create a space where it's really easy for us to just hop on the computer or any of the other scenes that we're gonna be creating and easily be able to record some really awesome footage for you guys. By doing this transformation, we're also gonna be improving our sound, our lighting, and our overall, all our video quality. So watch till the very end because we're gonna be sharing all the tools that we're using and how we're gonna be achieving this transformation. Here's a quick preview of what the transformation looks like. We've got the desk set up with our new audio, our new lighting system, our backdrop, everything that you see here, we've got this done pretty quickly. Make sure you guys watch till the end, we show you guys exactly what we did in order to accomplish this job. So before I get into the build and everything that we're gonna be using here, I did wanna share a bit about our thought process. So we could have went with something a little bit more permanent like drywalling this wall or even adding some custom shelving. But we wanted to be a bit budget conscious on some of the things that we did. We didn't go completely cheap on everything. The items that we're gonna be using for a long time, we did go all out on. But some of the things where we could save, we definitely did save. So let's go and take a look at everything that is currently set up in our studio. So most of our local customers have seen this space. This is where you pick up your transfers from. This is also where we record footage and film for you guys. Now what we have here is gonna be our table where we do most of our heat pressing jobs. We do most of our demonstration here. We have another table on this side where we, where we hold all our props and everything that we're using to um, make videos. Then we have a shelf again with all the tools and all the accessories that we use for these videos. Bunch of tripods, bunch of lighting. This is our table where we record video behind the computer. This wall is where we used to shoot most of our flat lays and photos from. We also have a newer system here. It's gonna be the tri system where it holds three different rows, but we're gonna be installing the single roll today. So this is the space that we're working with. Let's talk about this wall. So this wall here, it's gonna be a cement wall. So it is thick, very difficult to drill through. And behind this gray curtain is our window with some bars. So there's not a lot that we can do here. And we could have removed it, tried to drywall it, tried to create a removable wall. But again, we wanted to create something that wasn't as permanent here. So we're gonna be creating, we're gonna be using the newer system and creating a pull down black wall so that we can record with a nice background. Now the first thing that we're gonna work on is gonna be our black backdrop. Now for this solution, we're gonna be going with a Savage roll. They are known for good backdrops. We got a matte black backdrop. It is nine foot by about 12 yards. So that is ideally going to be hanging right here. And we wanted it seamless against the wall. So instead of using the brackets that came with the newer system, what we're going to be using is going to be this uh, industrial pipe bracket. I'll have a link below on the Amazon product here. And it's basically going to be screwed on here. So we're going to attach this bracket onto the wall. And this is going to be laid here so it's nice and flush. And you're not going to have these brackets that are sticking out. So this is our current existing setup. This is the tri system. And as you can see, it's protruding right here. So if we want this setup seamlessly against the wall, we're going to have to use the industrial pipe setup. And that's going to keep it nice and flush so that it's going to be a nice corner there. So this is gonna be the first thing that we're gonna be installing. It's the newer single roller backdrop holder. Now it comes with two of these to hold the rolls, but we're only gonna be using one side because we're gonna be using the industrial pipe to keep it nice and mounted on the wall. And so it's gonna literally, we're getting rid of that and we're gonna be installing like that. Now it does come with some ceiling mounts. I didn't really like the way that this system is built 
So we went ahead and upgraded and got some of these uh, toggle bolts. These holds up to 120 pounds. So this is the bracket. This is gonna be the roller system that we're using. We're only using one side. And then we're gonna be using, again, this industrial pipe holder. And basically this is going to be mounted like this. So the first part we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this side so that we can get the height between, the distance between the ceiling and the roller. And then we're gonna level it out and then mark the wall. All right, this is a Savage Roll. We're just gonna go ahead and take this side of things. And the way this works is when you're tightening up just like a screw, it expands this part and it holds the roll together and it makes it nice and tight. So I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm gonna try to get it into the roll like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do count, or clockwise. And now it's nice and tight. And now this is nice and secure. So the next part is we're gonna slip this on here. And this is how it's gonna hold on the ceiling. And this is gonna be actually on the other side. So we're gonna flip this around and we're gonna be able to, we're gonna mark the holes for this first. And then after that it's marked, then we're gonna go ahead and mark the holes for the wall. So we've got our Savage backdrop installed along with the newer roller brackets. The next thing that we're going to be doing is installing a bookshelf that we picked up from Amazon. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the product that we're going to be installing next. So there are different options, but we went ahead and chose the five tier system. The measurements are going to be 70 by 70 by 11 and it had pretty good ratings at 1,620 and the cost of this five tier is going to be 179. So let's go ahead and get this installed so that it'll be a good backdrop for us to put stuff on there and we'll be able to put all the nice accessories that we have as well. So let's go. On this next part of the video, we're gonna be installing a tabletop desk organizer. Now this is a six in one system. We haven't unboxed this yet, but I want to show you the size of this box, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the actual product on my phone. So this product, as of this time, it is rated at 4.6 stars, 537 reviews off of Amazon, and it only costs $139. So that's not bad for what it's supposed to do. Again, it's gonna be a six in one system. It's gonna be able to mount our light, our microphone, our laptop or monitor, and a cell phone for a script if needed. So this is some of the things that people do as far as their setup. They use this for gaming, for teaching, for media recording, and for doing music. And let's go and take a look. It also has three different light modes. We're not sure if we're gonna stick with this. We're gonna be installing a new light box. And so we'll see if we're gonna actually stick with this or this might be a extra light to help enhance some uh, shadowed areas. And this is the different mounts that it holds. Again, for a, uh, a monitor, you have a mount for your phone, even a DSLR. So it's pretty sturdy. It, it, it is a 19, it's almost 20 pounds. So it is very heavy duty and it should be able to hold all the stuff that it's telling us that it can hold. So we're actually gonna be opening this up, testing it out and seeing if this works for our setup. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and we'll go ahead and get to seeing how this is gonna set up with our setup now. All right, let's take a look at this. Got your instruction booklet. This is gonna be the circular selfie light. So you've got your tools, you've got your screws, your monitor mount, your laptop plate, some clips for the holding bar and a post cap. Phone mount, a arm for one of the adjustable 
mounts, another mount, third mount, the microphone and the microphone holder. You've got an extension rod, universal ball head, uh, adapter for a DSLR, and your phone holder. And lastly, this looks, it's a pretty heavy item. This looks like it's going to be the actual table holder. So this is going to screw into our table and hold this in place. I don't have a designated spot for this yet, but we're going to play around and see what we're going to, we're going to be able to use with this. All right, guys, so this is everything that's included into the assembly box. You've got your main pole, you've got your three adjustable arms, and you have your different mounts that are included. Now, this is the instructions that we're also working with here. It doesn't really have a step-by-step -step on what you need to do. There are several ways to mount your items. Some people don't want to mount maybe even the microphone or the light, but this is basically the diagram of how everything is laid out, and you just basically install what you need on your, on your setup. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move this arm over to here. So we're gonna use the supplied Allen key. So next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing the light onto this ball mount. So I'm gonna show you what we can do with these arms. This one in particular, we're gonna be mounting a tablet mount. It can also work with a laptop holder and it can also be installing with a monitor mount. Next thing we'll do, we're gonna check out this light that's included. It is a USB-C to a USB. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in for now. And then I'll show you the different settings. So the middle button is gonna be the power button. That's gonna show the light here. And I'm gonna go ahead and dim, and then I'm gonna go ahead and raise the brightness afterwards. So let's go ahead and dim. There's different stages. So that's the lowest setting right now. Let's go ahead and increase it. that's how bright it gets and then I'm gonna bring it back down so there's four different stages then the next one I'm gonna change is the color so I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna also raise it up so there you go so there are three colors so this this and that and then there's brightness all around so pretty straightforward in how this works but that's how bright the light is. All right guys, so this is the setup that we currently have right now. You can see we're only using this light that was included here. So it's pretty bright. This is the highest setting, but this is the only light that we have in this room. So pretty bright guys. So let's talk about the other things that are included here. So they include a, a uh, tripod. This one's gonna be six and a half inches. And what you can do with this one is you can add this to the light or any of the other accessories to give it an elevation in case you want a higher perspective with the light or the camera or any of the mounts. So this is pretty cool. There's actually Velcro for you to, for some uh, cable management. Keeps things nice and tidy so it doesn't pull off. And the last thing I want to show you guys is actually a hack. So they do include a phone mount. This is the phone mount that is included. But instead of using the phone mount, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a tablet mount. It's more universal, I can interchange between the tablet, I can use my iPhone Max phone, I can even turn it into landscape mode. So that's pretty cool, it's very sturdy, I can easily read my script, you can re easily preview anything I need to watch beforehand. So this is the current setup that we have now. We're gonna play around with the lighting and also the DSLR setting, but this is what we have going on so far. 
on this video, we're gonna be opening and unboxing a new light that we have for our camera system setup. Now this is gonna be a Falcon Eyes. It's a bi-color honeycomb grid softbox. So we're using this to improve the lighting that we have in, in our studio. Some of the main features that it has, again, it has the honeycomb effect, which helps regulate the light. It is super lightweight. It is rollable. So that's one of the other main things. It's bendable, rollable, waterproof. It has different spectrums. And this shows that it can roll up pretty small. You can flex it against a, a, an object so that you can have light all around and you can connect up to four different lighting system with the same uh, settings so that everything is nice and co consistent in color. This is, that, this is a shown of the box. This is the honeycomb grid that we're gonna be adding on. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead, this is also rated at 4.4 stars, 52 reviews on Amazon at $309. So this is, not too cheap, but it's not an expensive item compared to some of the other lighting systems that are out there. So we really like this one because we want it to have something that's lightweight. That's the main thing. We want it something that's lightweight that's gonna attach to the top of our desktop hanging system and hopefully be able to provide some really good lighting for our videos. So let's go in and take a look at this. We are opening this up for the very, very first time. So you guys are gonna go along with us on this ride where we get this installed. Now, I got a chance to take a look briefly at the, at the instructions and it wasn't the greatest instructions that are out there. There are some parts and diagrams that's available, but there's really no procedures on telling you exactly how to set this up. So we're gonna be doing this with you guys. What I did notice is that some of the diagram here is showing items that are not included here. So this is probably something that you can add onto it in case you're looking to change up the system. But let's go in and take a look. This looks to be the soft light box. So we're gonna leave that aside for now. This looks to be the black uh, housing for the light. This is part of the light box. Now this is the foldable lighting system. So there's actually a holder here. All right, let's go ahead and unravel the Velcro here. All right, so let's go ahead and unravel this. So that's pretty cool, LEDs all around, and it is waterproof, so you can actually dip this in the water from what I was told, so that's pretty cool. And most importantly, it is lightweight. You can just fold this up, carry it along with you wherever you go, but we are gonna have this on top. That's how we're gonna light this up. So let's take a look at what else is included in this box. This looks like a controller slash ballast system. These are some mounts, joints, your 12 volt battery pack. This is going to be some Velcros probably for the box. And then there's going to be your grid system here. So we'll, we'll install that later on so that we'll also get a chance to see that. Then there's going to be a mount here. We'll see where that installs to as well. And lastly, you have a little antenna. This is going to be for the ballast area. So we'll get that installed later on. This is a nice carrying bag. So we'll set that aside for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down flat. Okay, so this is the rim for the light box. This flap is actually bendable. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. And actually I'm gonna flip this around this way because the cord is right here. So this is where, what we'll do.
gonna check the Velcro to make sure that is secure. So okay, great. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. So there's gonna be different types of covers that you can put on here. We're gonna start off with this one first. This is just gonna be the most basic, simple soft box cover. So here you go, super easy to do. This is the most basic cover. So these are the supports for the soft box. They come like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. Like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna install it on each corner. Okay, now that it has support, it's like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be installing this mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this mount. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the controller first. This is the cord that comes here. I'm gonna install these pigtails, just line them up. And then the next part is gonna be this. I'm just gonna line it up. There's gonna be four terminals. Just line it up, click. This is the antenna. We're gonna go ahead and screw. Now you wanna make sure that it's in the off position. And this is a 12 volt, but there's also a different connection for a, a V power. So now we've got the controller attached to the 12 volt. On the controller, you can actually attach a V-mount battery pack. So if you have one of those, that can attach onto here. So the next thing is, we're gonna install this onto our C-stand. I'll also drop a link below for this product on Amazon. There you go. Raise this. And for the convenience here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this hook. But let's go ahead and fire this up so that we can take a look at and how this one looks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click onto number one. There you go, this is the first soft light. So this is the Falconized controller. You have the ability to change it from 3000 Kelvins all the way up to 5600 Kelvins. And there's a dimmable controller that you can go from 0% all the way to 100. And it's a very sensitive uh, button. You don't really need to press very hard for it to change. I'm just literally touching it and you're able to dim it already or raise it already to 100%. Same goes to the Kelvins. You can go ahead and change it from 3000 easily to 5600 Kelvins. So it's very easy to use this. You can go ahead and play around and see what's the best lighting for you. So this is currently the dome shaped softbox. I'm gonna actually be interchanging this to the regular softbox along with the grid. But before I show you the different lighting settings, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the controller. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm actually gonna be changing this to 50%, showing you guys the light output there, along with the 75, and then finally the 100%. I'm gonna also be changing the Kelvins from 3000 all the way to 5600 Kelvins so that you can also see the light differences there. So we turned off all of our main lights in this room. We're gonna go ahead and show you the output from this Falcon Eye. Currently, again, it's at 3,000 3, K Kelvins. So we're gonna change it from 0% all the way to 50. And this is what 50% looks like on the 3,000 Kelvins. Let's go ahead and move it to 75%. This is 75%, and then to 100. And that is 100. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change from 3000 
Kelvin's all the way to 5,600. So I'm gonna stop at 4,000. And then this is gonna be at 5,600 Kelvin's at 100%. So this is the output that it's giving. The, the room is pretty, pretty bright. There's a big glow effect all around. I'm gonna go ahead and change this from 100% back down to 50% or 75% first. This is 75. Down to 50. And this is 0%. So this is actually a fourth option for you. You can combo this with the grid. This is gonna soften the light a little bit more. You can still get that focused light, but it's gonna be a little bit softer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get this done. We'll remove the grid. I'm actually not gonna remove it all the way. Just gonna grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Velcro on top of the grid. Bring this onto the inside. So the Velcro is actually very thick. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of space in between for you to fit this softener and also the grid back on here. So there you go. So another thing I noticed with this power supply, it has a V-shaped connection here and that actually connects to the controller. So you can just slide it in like this and it's, con it's together. So it keeps everything nice and straight or nice and together. Not a lot of loose things all around. And to release it, you just press this button and it simply releases. So what we have here is the combination of this light box with the softener and also the grid. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. We're gonna start with 3000 Kelvins and it's currently at 0%. Let's bring this up to 50%. That's 50%. Let's bring it up to 75. That's 75% and 100%. So the light is still very direct. It doesn't spill all over the place and the actual softener lightens it up just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna like this a lot better than without using the softener. But let's go ahead and bring this to 4,000 Kelvins. That's 4,000 Kelvins and then to 5,600 Kelvins. So this is 5,600 Kelvins at 100%. So let's go ahead and bring this back down from 100, 75%, 50%, and zero. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my setup. I'm gonna show you how fast it is for us to record. I have the iPhone currently connected to the DSLR. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this mount here. This helps me understand the current view that I have. Make sure that I'm nice and straight. I can shoot this by myself without needing some extra hands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click record when I'm ready. Once the position is set, I'm already clicking record. And this is the video of me shooting um, our, our video here. So as you guys can see, I'm nice and in frame. The lighting is on. Even though I have everything on right now because I'm doing a bigger video, this shows you the perspective that I'm working with, my current setup, and how everything is going to be working. So I hope you guys like this angle, this view. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, we are finished. We are done. Are we really done? Probably not. We're gonna be adding more stuff along the way, but I can finally say that we are at a good point where we can start shooting in this space. That's something that we're really happy and proud about. But let's go ahead and talk about what we have set up here. So what we are working with, we had a curtain system here and we had some light that was actually peeking through. Not only that, but we have some metal bars here. So that really limited this space here and we wanted to cover this up. So we went with the newer brand system. Uh, it's a nine foot roll with, from Savage, comboed with a single roller. 
And what we did extra is we added a pipe thread mount and that allows us to stay very flush to the wall or, or else you would have these protruding uh, things right here. So it's completely flushed. That's because of the pipe thread. And now the moment that we're waiting for, we're gonna go ahead and roll this down. Another thing that we did here is this, this plastic chain is included with the newer system. We went ahead and shortened it up so that it doesn't protrude out and it doesn't get in the way. It's not gonna be an eyesore. Let's go ahead and roll this down now. All right, so one of the things that I was concerned about is I was concerned that this would start rolling through because it comes in a roll. I was worried that it would roll. It wouldn't look really nice and straight, but it is actually very flush. There is enough weight on this backdrop to hold it nice and still. And we now have a nice black matte background. So what we have here in front of the background is we have a five tier shelf. This is actually a 12 inch wide shelf by 70 inches wide and 70 inches in height. It is five tiers, but we're currently using only four tier because that's what we need it for. We might be adding more along the way, but there's actually three extra boards that we're running here. We've got a fake plant, we've got a real plant, and we will add more decorations along the way. What we have here is gonna be a display. This is actually a 10 inch display, 10.3 inch display that we picked up from Amazon. We thought it would be really cool to show our subscriber and also our view count, help us stay motivated and accountable along the way. So this is something that's really cool. In addition that we added this blank space here, we're leaving for the YouTube plaque. We don't have that quite yet, but I believe in manifestation and I'm gonna manifest it now. Once we hit that 100K, we'll have the plaque here. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, and supported the channel, make sure you guys do so. Help us hit that 100K. Make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our current desk setup. Now we went with just our regular Costco chair that we picked up years ago. It's still in good shape. We're gonna use this for the time being, nothing fancy. And next we have our Ikea desk. This is also a very inexpensive item, very lightweight, it's nice white, and it started reflecting a lot of light, so we added a, a black padding here. We'll, all, we'll probably be adding a bigger black padding, but this helps the light stay here without reflecting too much. We started to notice a glow here. So this is what our temporary solution is gonna be. We're gonna have our iMac computer here, where we have this connected to our APC power distribution. Um, this works with a USB or your regular 12 volt, um, it just keeps things nice and tidy and clean here. And for our lighting, we have we were originally going to mount this Falcon Eye to this uh, desktop organizing mount, but it was actually a little bit too low. It didn't quite hang over this space, so we decided to reuse our C mount, our C stand, and we have our Falcon Eyes now mounted to the C stand. This Falcon Eyes comes with a controller, also a battery a battery um, a supply and it connects together. It's hanging in one unit so it's nice and clean. And of course we have our Falcon Eye lighting system that we're using. We currently have this on at pretty low. It's a full grid system so that keeps the, the light nice and close here without spreading too much all over the place. And again, what we like about this one so far is that it is lightweight, it hangs, it's not sagging. Um, even though we have sandbags that we're using for the C-Stand, it's lightweight enough that it's not going to fall over for any apparent reason. And if I ever need it, it's really easy to take apart and just throw it in a bag, bring it wherever we need to go with it. So that's something that's really nice, helps with our lighting. I'll play more with the lighting in the near future. Uh, right here, we have a desk stand, a desktop organizer. It's a six in one. There's different mounts that are included. But what we have so far is going to be a phone slash uh, tablet mount. I like this for our script. If I need, ever need to attach my phone here, this is nice. Right here, we have our DSLR uh, camera mount. This is actually not from this brand, but we I'll include it in the link below in case you guys are interested. It has a leveler here that helps keep the, the DSLR leveled. It's important that we level this out because we have shelves here and if 
it is not level, you're gonna, you're gonna notice that the shelves are gonna be uh, drooping in a certain direction. So this actually helps. It's a pretty cool uh, feature to have. Real quick, the arms here are gonna be about 18 inches, 19 inches. So if you wanna know how much, how much wiggle room you have, let's say about 18 inches for every arm. And they do fold in different directions. And what we have here is going to be our uh, microphone mount. We have this attached to a Rode microphone. This is also adjustable in case you want to raise this, lower this. You can just unscrew this, raise this, and lower this up and down. And next, the height of this. This is going to be about 23 inches. So that's the height that you're working with here. It's about 23 inches. That's pretty much at the very top. So this is as high as you can go, but you can always raise this up and down if needed. So let's go ahead and head back to this view since I've already shared everything that we're, that's in our setup. So this is our current setup. This is what we're trying to capture. Yes, we will have some lights that are off and on, but so far, if you guys watched this video to this point, I wanna thank you for following along in this journey with us. We're used to making um, tutorials where we show you how to heat press and how to make DTF and how to make apparel, but this is something a little bit different that we're doing. So I wanna thank you for following along in this journey where we share what we're doing with this space. And I hope you continue to watch along where we can create some very valuable uh, content and tutorials on how to master your artwork and business related topics. So my name is Phil. I wanna thank you guys again. You guys have any comments, Make sure you guys leave them below because I will definitely answer that for you guys. I'll catch you guys on that next video.